Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick energy update. <laughs> Look into what your person is thinking, feeling, um, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just whatever story the cards want to tell. And this reading applies to both those in masculine energy and those in feminine energy. It's just, you know, whoever is resonating with this reading. Um, you know, if it's, if it's not resonating with you, then it means it's not your reading. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I will also be doing my Zodiac readings um, later this week as well. The, the beginning of the month Zodiac reads for each specific Zodiac sign. So check back for that all right so what do you need to know about your love life right now what is the story or just in general what do the cards want to say what is just the general energy update let's do a check-in okay hmm it's interesting got envy punishment changing course but then we have Sacrifice, offering, letting go, burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, and reach. Anti-hero, maverick, risk taker, rule breaker. So free-spirited energy. I feel like a lot of you are kind of letting the past go and moving on to something better. Um, yeah, the past is a prison is the card we have here. Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. But I think you're coming out of that energy actually. So I want to say lately I've been picking up that a lot of people are actually like a lot of people have been tied down by either a karmic or for some of you even even a twin flame that's just possibly not right for you or a soulmate. You know, whoever the person might be, a lot of you have been kind of in this, not all of you. And again, this is either your story or it isn't. It's like it's, it's if it's your story, it's going to resonate with you. But a lot of people have been tied in these situations be it with a karmic a twin flame a soulmate whoever they've been tied in these situations where they've been um you know ghosted or neglected or even abused in some cases and they've you know collectively been on this kind of merry-go-round where they always make excuses like oh well you know it's meant to be so i have to keep waiting for them they'll come around eventually you know they're going through the dark night of the soul they're healing so i just have to wait for them and just you know for the longest time um collectively a lot of people have just been kind of waiting for their person to get it together waiting you know despite the abuse despite the ghosting despite all the toxic energy just kind of continuing to make excuses for them and um you know holding on to that hope and I'm noticing a lot of people are actually stepping out of that energy and they're manifesting someone new. And this is coming out a lot in this reading. And so I'm going to look into the new person as well, because it's like, you you know, the past is a prison. This is someone who kind of made you sad. It's it's bitterness. It's it's someone, you know, you refuse to let go of. You you kept having faith in, and it's like your faith was just never justified in this person. You know, they just kind of abused you or just neglected you or just weren't there for them. You, they weren't there for you when you needed them to be. Um, you know, and it's caused you a lot of damage, a lot of heartbreak, you know, and I think you're going to look back and wish you hadn't wasted those months or years on that person. Um, but it happens, you know, it's normal. Like when you love someone, you love them. You can't help who you love. But I'm seeing this this beautiful energy in my my YouTube readings and in you know twin flame groups that I'm in, um, just just all around collectively. I'm seeing this beautiful energy where more and more people are saying, "Screw this! I don't care if this is a twin flame. I don't care if this is a soulmate. I don't care if this is a karmic. I don't care about the labels. All I know is this person isn't there for me. This person is ghosting me. This person is abusing me. This person." is not being a real man or not being a real woman they're not matching me where i'm at they're not giving me the kind of attention and love that i want this isn't worth it i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna manifest you know screw all this screw all whatever anyone you know whoever tells me this is meant to be or this it has to be this way or that way the twin flame journey blah 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 you know screw all this like i'm gonna go and create my own destiny and make my own path and i'm gonna manifest somebody who's going to love me here and now, you know, 
it's, it's like this same old merry-go-round in, with you know the collective there's just like this energy of like Oh, you have to wait for them. They're just around the corner. They're almost there. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. And so many of you are saying, so many of you are stepping back and saying, no, I'm done waiting. I'm done doing this to myself. I'm done feeling alone. I'm done feeling like this over a person who's not even matching my energy in the least bit. Like, I'm done with this. I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to create the life I want. I'm going to manifest the kind of love I want. I'm going to manifest a love that's unlike anything I've ever known before. You know, you're kind of starting to recognize that this is the same old story that you've been repeating with either men or women. It's like, you know, uh, same hell, different devil kind of energy. You know what I mean? Just the same person, but, or just, just, different people but the same old story of of you know people being emotionally unavailable or being abusive and you're you're breaking that pattern finally you're taking your power back you're saying enough is enough you're saying i'm done with this i want to step into the unknown the unfamiliar i want to manifest something so different than anything i've ever known and i'm really excited to see that energy in this group you know because i have been channeling your your, your people for a while you know i've been channeling these stories and i'm going to tell whatever story comes up you know what i mean like if this story is um you know that, you, that your person's afraid or that they're working on themselves like if that's what the cards say i'm going to tell that story but i'm really happy that collectively my viewers are actually shifting that energy so maybe the next reading i do it's it's we're going to have like a new person on the on the board here and it's going to talk about them instead or it's going to talk about how you're transitioning into this this new energy so it's really beautiful that you're leaving the toxic behind you're leaving the past behind you're leaving the emotionally unavailable people and more importantly breaking this pattern that you've had with emotionally unavailable people again and again and again you're breaking this pa pattern so you can manifest a love unlike anything you've ever known um, and so I'm really, really excited to channel this new person because I think that's going to be coming on this board soon where I'm going to start more and more of you are going to be meeting this new person, maybe in unexpected ways. And, you know, that, that energy as we transition out of the toxic X or the toxic karmics or whatever, we're more like, you know, as we go on and get through this collectively together, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be seeing a new story here in the near future of, of a new person coming in and, and what that looks like for you guys. So I'm really excited about this. Um, but anyway, so so yeah, with, with jealousy, maybe it was like self-punishment here because we have envy and punishment and you're changing course. You know, I think that you are punishing yourself possibly for things that you've done in your past life, um, possibly just, you know, bad childhood experiences. Um, or just people t dragging you down and telling you who you could be, what you could do. And just that kind of energy where it's like maybe some um, insecurities and like punishing yourself and feeling like, you know, emotionally unavailable men or women is like just all you knew. It's all you could have. It's like you kept punishing yourself. You, you, some subconscious part of you didn't believe that you deserve true deep love. But now you do. Or you're at, in the very least in the process of believing it, you know, because we have changing course here. It's like you were in that energy of jealousy, envy, punishment, you know, punishing yourself, feeling insecure, feeling like you don't, you know, feeling like this is all love is ever going to be, feeling like it's always going to be the same story, like you're always going to be alone, you know, and, and, you know, you've been repeating that pattern, people. So it makes that sense that you would feel that way because it's like the same old story again and again and again. And you're recognizing that now and you're saying, screw this. I'm jumping off the, the merry-go-round, enough is enough, and, and you're changing course. You know, you're letting go. You're sacrificing that. You're sacrificing a lot to have this new life. It reminds me, oh, what is that song? It's a Sarah McLaughlin song. I don't know the name of it, but if you look it up, it might resonate with you guys. It's, it doesn't mean, the, the main lyrics are, it doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean anything at all. The life I left behind me is a cold room. And then it's like sweet surrender is all that I have to give. It's that kind of energy where it's like this very spiritual, very open, just 
just freedom kind of energy where it's like you're just stepping into a whole new life that's just unlike anything you've ever known and it's really beautiful that you're you're standing in your power you're being independent you're you're taking your power back you're being yourself um with you know sacrifice and letting go here it's like you're just you're you're sacrificing the toxic relationships the toxic people you're doing cut and clear work you're cutting and clearing you know you're willing to lose everybody just to just to be true to yourself and even if you can't see it yet even if you haven't met the right person yet you have this faith now that that person is is coming is they're in your energy field and they're coming forward like you can feel that energy you might already be telepathically communicating with them maybe you're aware of them they might be coming through in dreams you just have this awareness that you're just on this ver on the verge of just having a whole new life unlike anything you've ever had before um you know, it's, you're just letting go of, of everything and everyone that is no longer serving you, like just letting go of everything that's been holding you back. You know, I'm burnt by the sun here. It's like you're ambitious. You're 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 leaving all that crap behind. You know, you're leaving the past isn't your prison anymore. You're leaving that behind the bitterness. You're healing from that. You're letting go of that. Um, you know, with ambition, it's like you're just, you're, you're reaching for your dreams. You're going after what you want. You're being true to yourself and you're setting really strong boundaries with people and you're willing to cut out the people that are not willing to meet you where you're at. It's this very beautiful, like, look how strong and confident she is. Like, she's just strong, confident, seductive. This is like anti-hero. It's like rule break breaker, risk taker, maverick. It's, it's kind of like a free spirited energy is what I get from this card. It's somebody who's you, you've been in this pattern for probably years and years with emotionally unavailable people and you were just were so stagnant and so stuck and you're just diving into this this new free-spirited energy where you're you're breaking the societal conditioning you're breaking the rules in a really good way you know what I mean like you're, you're breaking the subconscious patterns you're breaking you're just breaking free of anything that had you in chains you know what i mean like you're making your own rules you're making your own life you're you're making your own destiny now like you're just taking control of your life and you're not listening to other people's rules or society's rules like you're making your own rules for yourself you're deciding what makes you happy you're not letting anyone else decide that anymore and you're just you're stepping into this beautiful free-spirited energy and, you know, the right person is going to recognize that energy and they're going to come to you. But you're in this phase where it's like you don't you're not even worried about them. You're just kind of focusing. You're just happy to have that freedom and just to be yourself again and just to have this this free spirited, beautiful energy again. It's like you're just you know what I mean? It, it's 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 really it's an amazing reading we're getting here. Um, can we say just anything before I wrap up? Is there anything we need to know about the new person? Anything you want to say yet? might be in the next spread because they're in your energy field they're coming through you might already be telepathically communicating with them like you have that feeling you're about to meet someone so we got death rites saying goodbye formal occasion honoring lives so so yeah i think that you could be mirroring each other they could also be getting out of a karmic connection as you do um but it's like death rites is in like you're allowing yourself this morning in this healing process like you're you're letting go of all of the past it's like the past it's like a death and rebirth here it's really amazing monster within internal struggle personal challenges wanting to improve hope anticipation bright prospects wish discipline training consistency and practice so i think what this is saying well i'm just from channeling what i got when i pulled these three cards is that you're going to notice the energetic difference between this new person and the old person because this new person is going to be a cannibal for their shit. The other person, I think, would make excuses or you would make excuses for them. Like I always like I've been saying, you know, if you're if your man or your woman is healing and they have some stuff to get through and you're getting through it together and you're communicating and they're updating you on, on their progress and they're letting you know they want you to wait and they're talking to you consistently and you guys are just working through it together then that's fine but more often than not in the in the twin flame community it's like you guys just kind of assume that they're they're going through the dark night of the soul you just kind of assume they're doing the healing work 
but there's no communication. Like they're never saying, oh, I want you to wait. They're never, they're not saying, oh, I, I'm going to be here. It's just kind of you doing all the work on your own. You know what I mean? And just this energy with this other person is so beautiful because it's like such a strong warrior type energy that I get here where it's like, so the monster within, it's like internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. Like they're going to take accountability for themselves. If there's things that they need to work on, they're going to work on them. They're not going to make excuses. They're not going to ghost you. They're not going to detach when things get hard. You're not going to have to do all the work for them. You're not going to have to make assumptions and try to figure out through psychic readings or through other channels or whatever where they're at or how they feel or um, if they're doing the healing work or not. Like, they're going to be telling you straight up where they're at. They're going to be honest. They're going to be genuine. They're going to be raw, real with you. You know, if they do have some stuff they have to work on, they're going to own that. They're going to be like, hey, these are my flaws and I need to work on them. I need to do better. It's not somebody that's going to be shitty towards you and just let it slide. It's like somebody who's going to be accountable for themselves. Like, you know what? No, I need to treat you like a king or I need to treat you like a queen because that's who I am. I'm somebody who... Like, they have a lot of integrity. Like, they, they're they strong. They're they're secure. They know who they are. They're, they're going to treat you well, not just because you deserve it, but, but also because it's who they are. Because they can never ghost somebody. They can never abuse somebody. They can never be toxic with somebody. It's like, it's not in them to be like that. You know what I mean? Like, I always tell that because I, I do have a lot of women follow my... Um, my youtube like a lot of women who end up in like abusive relationships and i always tell you guys like there are some men out there who will just never hit a woman like it will just not even occur to them to ever do that it's like they would just never want to do that they could never live with themselves if they did that and then there are men that will do that and it's like once he's hit you it's like that's all you need to know it's like you know, after that you know that he's the type that will do that and it's over from there you know what i mean like once is enough once is all you need to know that you need to get out of that situation and this is somebody who's like would never hit you would like never consider it this is somebody who would never cheat on you this is somebody who would like they just have integrity this is somebody who's just very strong they know who they are and so it's like it would just never occur to them to be bad towards you you know what i mean like they really hold themselves responsible so like they would the guilt would eat at them if they ever did something wrong towards you like that. You know what I mean? Like they would just, like they just know how they are. They have much better communication skills than the, the people you've dealt with in the past. Um, and so it's like a, it's a sexy energy I get too. This is like, like an alpha male energy or it could be like a female energy. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't think alpha female is, is alpha female a thing? I don't know. But it's like, it's like warrior energy. It's like just a very, ooh, like a very, like a sexual energy almost where it's like, damn, like you just owned your shit like that. Like you were just that honest and real with me. Like you just took responsibility like that. Like you were just so strong and it's like going to be such a turn on in comparison to the cowards and the the, those that have ghosted you and abused you in the past like this this masculine just dominant kind of energy that you're gonna get here is just gonna turn you on so much in comparison to what you've dealt with in the past with people you know if you've had blocks when it comes to sex it's probably because you've been with the wrong people that don't know how to do foreplay and with this person this person is going to be good at foreplay let me tell you that um and there's a lot of hope you know again a lot of hope here and again, they're disciplined. They're 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 very, cons they're consistent. They're practical. They're self disciplined. They're, they just they own their shit. It's just oh, it's so this part this energy is so sexy. It's just like oh, like that is a real man that you got coming in right now, or a real woman, whatever your story is. But oh, that is a sexy energy. Um, anyway, I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that helps you. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, I'm going to be doing my Zodiac readings later this week as well. I also do private readings. If you want me to look more in depth into your situation, my email address is below. So thanks for watching.